Jesus. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Raphael. I mean, honestly. We can do this. Come on, Raphael. Keep it down. Hi, what's going on? We're back here with Fire Emblem Three Houses, our Vernon Wind Assassins run. My voice was not prepared to do the intro today. That took 15 tries. We are back here with Fireman because poor Flane is still missing. We have no evidence as to where she could be. And the capture card is still really bright from when I was playing Tears of the Kingdom and it was super dark. So let me just turn that down now. Sorry about that. It looks really weird and washed out when you do it like this. Oh, that's too dark. Uh, yeah, that'll... No. Just put it at zero. Yeah, that's the stuff. Good. Uh, all right. How many activity points we got? We got just a few, but we would already spoke to everyone, so we're just doing a few more activities that have to be done around the monastery. Importantly, though, it's come, something that's come to my attention while I was editing uh, previous videos. If there was any doubt that Happy is best girl, or, you know, among the best girls. Sorry, I know this is a poor time to point this out because you're all panicking and, and being kind and worrying over Flayne. This is safety, but... Oh, uh, what? Oh, sorry, it's not in this outfit. It's that's it, I was re-watching the DLC, which is why I saw her in her actual legit outfit. She has mismatched socks. That's cute. We love a good character design affectation. Uh, anyway, more importantly. Well, no, nothing's more important than that. But we should probably spend some activity points on uh, worthwhile things. And you know what? Just because we, uh, I was really enjoying Happy and Constance's support, and I could use some support with Happy and myself. And we're not super desperate to be getting skills up at the moment. Really? Okay. I mean, look, I, you know what? It's my choice. I get it, we could use more riding. To, to recruit Petra, fine. Don't judge me, random monk. You, you haven't played this game. I have to imagine, otherwise it would be really weird seeing yourself in it. Let's go to choir with Happy and Constance. It also raised both of their uh, motivations, which is nice, although Constance is already high. Because I've been told that uh, it's very fun and you should do it. <laughs> I'd like to do it with all the wolves at some point, or and everyone really at some point, but we'll have time for that in Crimson uh, is nice, Flowers of Magic. It? Run. The only thing is, I'd prefer to do it without an audience. I mean, wouldn't we all? -la 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 -la. Sing out over peaks, ring out over valleys. Let my lovely voice echo through the streets and alleys. It's supposed to be like a religious hymn, Constance. I don't think you're reading the vibe of this room very well. <laughs> that was hilarious. Because <laughs> as much as I would love for the entire choir to sing a song just about you, you're very much entering the realm of getting executed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that counts as blasphemy. But more importantly, it is uh, very much uh, appropriate now that we uh, get some personal skills of Byleth up. Uh, that said, I don't actually have... T um, I have all exhausted all the ones that give me riding, which is for... Petra's sake, but I can still um, train up in the ones anything I have less than uh, E or you know less than D because even if you get them to like a, a support of like B plus or A, you still need at least D to recruit uh, anyone who wants a particular skill. I believe. Ooh, some black bands, black sand steel. Where is Alois over here? Don't worry, I've stopped suspecting you of abducting Flame. You can stop. No, I didn't. You, it's fine. I am lower than D in all of these, uh, but I have a particular uh, bonus in this, so this will be more useful early on, so may as well start with that. Thank you, Alois. And I suppose we want to do uh, go to Rhea for some magics, because I don't know anything about any of the magics. Actually, that's another reason the choir practice is good, is because uh, it'll help me recruit people who want faith, because it does raise my faith somewhat. And if I get instructed enough, I actually have a uh, blooming talent in faith, although I don't suppose that's likely to happen soon enough. Actually, I may as well just get reasons so that I'm, I'm keeping everything as level as possible. I still have much to learn. Yeah, I don't even know one spell yet. Not that I'll need it. Because this is not a run where we're allowed to do any magic. Great, so, um, that's our activity point spent. Mostly what we're intending to do today, I think, is... Ba it's a battle day! Well, I mean, it, the, the, the the recording day, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be doing the battle for the rare monster here, then we'll probably go back to the monastery for to get some more motivations and stuff. And then another battle. And we'll just let them find, uh, Flayne on their own. On the 28th or whatever. 29th, 30th. Whatever, whatever day they're actually gonna be like, Hey, I got it. we should go check out this secret passage. Cause thinking back on it now, I'm pretty sure nothing bad happens if you just let them figure it out themselves. Uh, before I do though, is there, are there any gifts I could pass off to raise motivations and such before, uh, all is, uh, going? Okay, so people who enjoy horseback riding. Ferdinand probably enjoys horseback riding, doesn't he? Exactly what I hoped for. Yes, knew it. Okay. Uh, as for a watering can, uh, this would be good for recruiting Ash. As we hope to recruit everyone someday, uh, getting at least a seed support with uh, most people would be uh, useful, I would think. So might as well give all these gifts uh, where we can. We could also just... Uh, most people are, accept a large number of gifts, though, so... If we were desperate for motivation, we could also use them for that. But I know he particularly loves gardening. Oh, really? I would have thought that would be way high for him. 
I guess he's more into cooking than guarding. Anyway, you'd think he would have a slightly higher reaction to it, considering most people don't have an especial interest in guardian gardening, and he does. But never mind. Let's check out uh, where our, our motivations are at. So we if we're, we have five active teaching points, so if we will be able to teach Ignatz, Lysidia, Marianne, Hilda. Oh, ha Happy didn't actually raise any. Uh, motivation for going to choir. I don't know why it showed us the motivation. It's maybe if, if they have a higher motivation, they get more faith out of it or something. Anyway, we can... Uh, we do, I think I'm going to spend the owl feathers on trying to get Petra a higher bond with us. So we'll be able to teach these four on our next teaching day, as well as one of the wolves, just to get... Uh, and the, the wolves they obviously won't be very helpful for this run, but we can get their our bond up higher with uh, Hoppy for them, just so we can see the supports. And Petra was telling us the flame was child napped over in the reception hall, which is here, and that's where I'm going to be to give her these feathers. Feather! This is giving me great joy. I'm so happy to hear it. Joy enough that... Flame no. What about a second this one? This is giving me great joy. Joy enough now for another support level? Ah, can't be too far off. She's got to be, like, one of my highest allies at this point, because I have <laughs> been exclusively trying to... Smooth talker into our class. Oh no, it's still it's Claude Ignatz and Hoppy. We're okay. Then away we go. Oh. Actually, are there any other small gifts I could uh, get for her just to get but get those extra friendliness points? Ah, cause right, cause these are nice and cheap. She would probably dig a hunting dagger. We don't need to buy all of them. Um, although they would be good for getting motivations up. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there are any things that, that she would particularly want. Uh, I think she's into meat. She won't hate it anyway. Doing business with you. Petra, have you considered that you're an awesome, awesome person and you deserve all the things in the world, but more specifically to right now, a, a dagger and some meat? This is giving me great joy. I had some idea this it might. Joy. Yes! Support? Yeah! Ha -ha! A supportly like l l amount of joy. Professor. Hi. Oh yeah, she's she supplanted Happy's space in the <laughs> the friendship rankings. <laughs> Sorry, Happy. You'll be back on top of as soon, I swear. <laughs> There's no maybe about it, passerby, but I'm curious to know how Petra's doing, so let's go for a visit. <sighs> Sorry, is it a bad time? Professor? No, I'm a student. It's very late. Please take my apologies. I lost time while I was training. No, that's all right. I just wanted you to know that it was 3 a.m. and you might there want some not sleep. not many chances for real fighting here. My body is more weak than it was. Weaker, I mean. I will keep training now. I hope your night is good. Likewise, you should get some rest. I need to have more training. There are things that I have not done yet. Things that have to be done for the future. I have to try with hardness. Yes, I understand. You're presently a vassal state of the empire because racism <laughs> and warmongering. Yes, that is that is a, a troubling thing. Troubling enough to risk a good night's sleep? I don't know, Petra. No, uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't judge. Training, studying, socializing. I will not always be having time to do those things. And speaking the language of Fodlin, I worry I will never be doing it just right. Well, who cares? We all understand you perfectly well. Why do you try so hard? Why? Because the position of Bridget is weak. Fodlin and Dagda are big. Bridget is a small island in the middle of them. Bridget has great beauty. But little power. We will not have, uh, will not survive unless we get more strength. I will lead Bridget, and so I have responsibility. I have to have more strength than anyone. It doesn't have to be that way. Perhaps you're right. Uh, well, <laughs> I think it it shouldn't have to be that way, but it might at the moment, considering the way the relations are. But maybe this will set her slightly more at ease to say that we could. As as the youngins who will shape the future, we could make the world not that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Having more strength than anyone might be un... Uh, impossible. But I have to give it my best try. I am an ally of everyone, and I have belonging at the Officer's Academy. That you do, but you'll have even more belonging before certain story events if you... You know, I, I do a buddy a solid and come help and kill bandits. That is also why I try with hardness. You can always be counting me. I mean, counting on me. But you should know and I, that and I do. <laughs> will be when I return to Bridget. Before that day, do not try stopping me from trying. And please, keep watch, watching over me. That I will do, you, Petra. 
I can try with more hardness than I could alone. A bond has been made between us, and I give you my unshaken word. Provided you join my class. So how about it? Has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. I know, I know. My writing still sucks. So my dex is pretty good. I don't think that'll be the problem right now, especially now as we're as far as B. It's 19, so it's gotta be my writing. What? It's, it's still only at like D plus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So surely once we get to D or C, well, she'll be more than willing. But we spent enough time trying to <laughs> smooth talk Petra, trying to roll persuasion on Petra uh, today. So I think we just go. Uh, let's go celebrate this lovely, lovely holiday. Holy Marianne. When I get to share it with you, I feel the same. Aww. Let's fill up so that we feel good and energized. Well, that's so sweet. Sorry, I have to bring you guys to kill some more folks. It's really bringing down the mood. But uh, if it helps. These are monsters that used to be people. Oh no, these ones are just normal monsters. See, My who even cares? Fear is that I See, yes, well, Constance, this seems to be a fear that pervades every week really of your life. The bond we forged underground has borne fruit. It's a little dramatic, but perfect job. So, who am I to complain? Oh yeah! All right, cool. Let's just uh, fast forward this now. Uh, you, you guys are all doing the stuff. Got this down. Rushing blow. Ah, oh, man, it's C is rushing blow. God, you gotta have like B for uh, healing focus. All the skills I want from each skill line, you have to be like an A in. Whatever. I thought for sure it was C. Bah, okay. Whatever. We'll be at, people will be at B and brawling in no time. Brawling is good for assassins too, anyway, because I mean it already gives you with your high dex you're getting high crits, but brawling gauntlets already give you a little dexter crit. Plus, once you get to lethality, more hits is always better. So brawling could be good for everyone anyway. Uh, but I was mostly doing it for healing focus, as we don't have any magical healers. But uh, why am I bothering about that? Because we're already behind on time because I spent so long trying to fudge things in our favor. Now I think I've seen from gameplay of the yellow auxiliary battles that you get maybe not. Not every time, but you frequently get perma buffs from them. So that's part of why I've, I've been sort of avoiding them because that feels a little bit broken to me. Like I said before, I've been sort of cherry picking which uh, which DLC features to take uh, full advantage of. But it's time for some monster battles, uh, during which Happy will be obviously immensely useful. And because there was a holiday on uh, the last Monday, we didn't have any teaching day, uh, but we'll have one just right after this, and we'll uh, drain most of our uh, uh, motivations then. So we'll have to do a lot of meals on the next uh, relaxed day to bring it back up. But ideally, we'll be able to get, um, wait, what? Oh, this is one where it's like there's one monster in the corner and then a whole bunch of uh, you people, right. I believe we can get as many people to level 10 as possible. I probably could have tried uh, for Claude to have his thief certification, but uh, we're a little bit broke, so I can't really be wait. I don't really want to be wasting the seals. I'd rather have, I'd rather be certain that we were, are actually going to pass it when we do it. Speaking of, uh, right, so you've got mastery from everyone. We don't, even if anyone, as someone has classed up, we want to be careful that we don't just shuffle them forward before they've achieved their mastery because the speed up, uh, among other things, will be useful. But Claude's got the mastery, so we can, we can class them up uh, at our earliest convenience in this no problem. Anyway, uh, let's get going here. I think I messed with everyone's gear, and it's in a, you know, a mostly likable spot here. Right, and since I've been bringing Balthus along a whole bunch with Lysithia, um, let's see, we'll bring another wolf with someone to get a, a, a support of someone up to C. I could bring Yuri with myself or Happy. I could bring Constance with myself or Happy. I could bring Balthus with myself, Lysithia, Hilda, or Happy. So let's bring him with Hilda, because she's the only one. She, she does not have a support with him just yet. Just because he has many of the wolves' uh, supports as possible, we're gonna all want to optimize that. Plus, it would be nice if, if Balthus had a high bond with a bunch of our people he could just be an adjutant we bring all the time. Anyway, let's do this. Priorities are Marianne, Hilda, Leone, Happy. Who, me? Yes. Listen up, Hilda. I just listened to you. Get it together. Look alive. We're on the battlefield. Oh, I don't really need to watch all these animations play out. I'll, I'll be sort of be skipping through a little bit here because it is going to be a battle day of not a great deal of importance. Now, even with the speed bump, you're not getting, you're not outspeeding this one. Why are they so fast? Let's go up to authority, uh, up to C for Claude. Good. You still have the armor slayer on you, so you could do some good damage here, but it's probably even better if you... Did I not give you any gauntlets after all that? Ah, what am I like? Whatever, uh, just go with the training sword. Nice dodge. You're strong enough to be doing, still doing damage with them. Oh, Leonie's still at, uh, level 9, right, okay. Uh, she can help out with the curve shot here. Perfect! That'll be a takedown. Which will get you some good experience. I like that tremendously. I knew you had it in you. Yeah, see, Claude knew you had it in you. I think he was talking to Leone. Sorry, Marianne. But you've got it in you too. If I pulled a Soul Blade here, that's a decent amount of uh, damage up front, which will uh, almost certainly let Hilda to get the finisher here with how physically strong she is. 15. Yep, just do one nice swing with the axe. There we go. Get you some max experience there too. Did I hurt you? Sorry, did I hurt you? Oh, well, this is actually catching up in levels decently well. This is nice. Whoa! Finally, you actually got a level here that wasn't just like res and charisma. <laughs> Most of us are going this way, actually, so I should I should come come help uh, Raphael. And Happy should back me up on that. 
because uh, I love her and I need to care. <laughs> Ow! But, but also because she has good defense and we are needing people with that uh, on this side. Sorry, we need people with that on this side. So Petra's got me doing it. I mean, I guess it's still technically grammatically correct, it's just slightly odd to say. Anyway, uh, we're getting some decent uh, weapon skills here, even if we are not doing much damage. Right, and we want to be up there somewhat quickly because we don't want them to kill steal the monster on us. Because they'll get the loot from it and uh, the experience. Actually, we should probably get a bit of a move on there. Because what are they going to drop? A rusted axe that can be forged into Hot Claire. We probably really, 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 really want that. Well, we might not be able to forge it into that yet, but... You know what time it is, Raphael? Pull that armor slayer out. Yonk! Yeah, he... Ow. Okay, I should have been slightly more careful. This Raphael's in sort of a bad way now. What's your gambit? Not doing lots of damage with it. Uh, can you do damage with a steel sword wrath strike? You could. I better weaken it up a little uh, to allow for that. Ah, oh, man, I, I'm too speedy. Do I even have curved shot yet? Oh, I don't. Ah, it sucks. And not even grinder will do it. Ah, well, I, I sort of messed that messed that up. But uh, fine. I'll go training sword on this one that's in the woods here. Now I can't uh, crest it, so they didn't get to uh, respond. I guess I'll just have you steel sword this one. Uh, and we'll just sort of try and whittle this, this area down, and we'll, we'll catch up to the uh, monster in a bit. We have a bunch of friends here who aren't moving too far, though, so we can get them into the action here. I'll start you off with the training ball in this one, just so you can uh, attack from range here. They'll get a few hits on you, but I can sort of move up some friends that you're not there alone. Like Claude, for instance. And with the training sword, he'll be pretty uh, hard to reach, as will Ignatz, I suspect, especially if I raise his speed. Sorry. No need to apologize. We're all... Putting in the work here together. Now I could bring a mage over to you. Your res is all right. There's some decent sense in that. The bow is heavier though, so you're, you're getting doubled with either. What is your range like? One to two, right? And you got a bit of a crit chance. Uh, you're getting doubled here, Lysithia, but I say go for it with the. Wait, are you? Can you even do any damage with the training bow? Never mind. They got a protection of ten. Don't do that. Uh, just wait for Hilda to get there. What is her combat art? Oh, she can curve shot from here. Yeah, why not? Might as well use your gambit here just to bring Lysithia back up because we're going to need her in good health in a moment. Lysithia is very much a player phase kind of character at the moment because she is, uh, has little, no defensive power. Which is, you know, uh, pretty typical for her in general anyway. Right, so there's one. They've, the, the monster's killed and stolen us. And I'm afraid the, the thieves are about to kill. Well, I guess no, the thieves aren't really going to have be much uh, use against here, but they are at least breaking the barrier. But if, if we are not the ones to break the barrier, then uh, I believe we don't get to. Oh no, that. Lance person, are they close enough to hit Raphael? Hope not. If we don't break the barrier, I believe we don't get the resources, which makes a lot of sense. So uh, we're going to want to catch up there, too. I guess Happy and I are just going to have to hang around here for a bit, because we've, we've now made it to the point where it's not really safe for us to let these people out to anyone else. We should just stand here and heal. Although they're doing more than 10 damage a turn. Right, this is the monster just doing an AoE here. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I think we can skip most of the rest of this. Good. Right. I have made some problems. Happy run! I think it's probably time for me to do the same. Run! I'll eat a Volinari, even though I'm already standing on the healing tile. And Raphael, similarly, run. You can do some good damage with this. I don't mind that. And that'll give uh, Ignatz uh, an easy finisher. I'm, I'm sort of forsaking the people who I was like, I should get you takedowns. That's not happening <laughs> much anymore. I'm just trying to not die. Uh, let's just get in the woods here, and then these uh, armored people will all group around you. Because even with the training bow, your uh, sword, you're doing... 22, which obviously won't do anything on their turn, because they get plus 6, is it? That's a dope scale, so they're up at 24, so you need to have a uh, might of 25 or higher to deal any damage at all, which you could do with this, but are you getting doubled then? No, actually, so you should definitely do that. You'll be doubling them all back, uh, and then let's see, they, and these bunch can come in and help out after that. And I can get Leonia to take down here with uh, the Wrath Strike. Yonk! And I get that the Arbor Knight's coming after her, but uh, she'll be able to dodge that pretty well. And with her high skills, she'll almost definitely be able to cost the Thief really Got soon. It. Defense 11! She has such ridiculously good defense. Our second highest. All right, Marianne could still use some. Do you have any magic uh, combat arts at the moment? You don't. That is a shame. Nevertheless, we could still probably get you some takedowns on, like, the mages or some such here. And this uh, Arbor Knight's about to go down, so then the, the monster will, I guess, be coming after us. Your strength isn't high enough to do that. I guess you could, you could get a bit of uh, bow experience that way, which is probably worth doing. Sword experience puts you at too much risk, I'd say, so... Oh, we don't want to... We don't expose Raphael like that, right? Okay, so I'll... I'll use the bow here, which probably means that, um... Uh, they're gonna go after you now, because you're not gonna respond. I'll heal Claude. So probably just gonna go and thwonk, uh, Ignatz with the... Oh, no, they're still going after Claude. Interesting. I guess he won't be able to do any damage back to them. Uh, but it's fine, because I want him to have his sword experience up anyway. To get to Thief, uh, ASAP. And Lysidia, hang tight. There are some armor knights coming your way that you'll be able to take down, uh, post-haste. And uh, Hilda's going to be able to do little bits of damage here and there, and probably be dodging a fair bit here. She's got her support with uh, Balthus, which is also helping her accuracy and stuff, I suppose. I mean, she doesn't have any support with him, but she's got him as a partner character, is what I mean. 
We can skip this. There goes that thief on their turn. <laughs> Silly. And you dodge, obviously. This one doesn't get close enough. Are they going after the monster? <laughs> wow, that's some dedication. And your battalion's finally at max. Nice, it's not bad, actually, that one. We probably could find you a better one uh, in... in not too long. Still good to have for the moment. Sorry, I was thinking this mission was going to go by a little faster, but uh, there it does require a bit of thought because we are still a, just a titch under leveled here, especially as we're not, we're all only at, uh, most of us are only at Myrmidon. I could pull a Tempest Lance, get a bit more damage out here. Uh, what's probably smarter is if I have Raphael go here. Well, I would, that sort of assumes that Claude can take it out, but I don't Careful. think that's a smart thing to assume. No, Claude can just do his, his gambit on them, so that's. Oh, but what I was going to try and do was uh, have rally her strength that she could take this out with a Tempest Lance. But any position that's adjacent to uh, them is either in the range of the monster or this one, who, uh, was, that's not great. Wait, does Disturbance push them back, or... No, that's Onslaught, isn't it? Uh, very well, then, just Armored Slayer this. Yonk! Actually, it might have been smart to do the other one, because these three might not be able to take this out uh, just themselves. You have a good, uh, strong bow, don't you? So why don't you curve shot with that just to get it at the most damage? And you can use your gambit here. Oh, not as easily as I thought. Uh, we'll just equip him with his bow so that uh, you can uh, gambit them for with a 75% chance. And if you miss this, that'll be very bad, but you're not likely to. Did you just miss it? Oh, no, okay. Sorry, I just... Oof. That may actually mean that uh, Ignatz could finish it off here. Good, okay, very good. Who knew? I did. I mean, I didn't know when I made the move, but... Right, so ideally here... Oh, you're right, you're doing way more damage on your turn because they're not uh, getting defense of uh, the armored blow, so you can do 9 and 9 here, which is really good. Ah, of course, the one time you get hit. Marianne might be able to heal you that, but I almost bet that... Uh, let's see if you could soul blade this now, which is what I'm, I'm really looking for here. <laughs> Block! See what I'm saying? So you get some Crest of Karen in every time except for that one time when I needed it in one of those episodes, in uh, the recent uh, Black Tower of Winds episode. Anyway, Thor of C, C plus for you is good, because your skills all grow super speedy. I guess it makes sense. That I, I I always used to think this was a pretty busted skill, but it makes it makes some amount of sense considering her uh, pretty paltry growths in a lot of very physical stats, or even and even res as well. It's mostly just magic, dex, and speed that she grows well in. And, you know, it's so somewhat surprisingly charisma. <laughs> right, so this one says they're going after you because they have a chance to be able to actually kill you. Uh, what I think is probably going to happen, because it would be more disastrous, is that this one's going to attack her with magic, and then now that she's at low health, this one's going to go after her. So ideally, you could get the gambit out here, except I gave you stride. And now that you don't have a, a, a an offensive gambit either, so that's a shame. Uh, what I should do then is just heal you with resonant white magic, and have you just sort of body block here so that they don't, no one goes after Marianne. Actually, is it better if they go after Marianne? Yes, by a long shot, because you can't reach Marianne. So just steal bow this one uh, to get a bit of damage out to help. And that's a bow uh, prowess up for you. Well done. Oh, and I've left Happy all alone here. Sorry. <laughs> I must get this turn all together, actually, because it's going to be pretty boring unless we die. Good, okay. So they did the Armored Knight first so that this the, this mage didn't ruin things and end up killing my Scythia. So perfect. So you can easily uh, Soul Blade this. In fact, if you do that and don't die from it, uh, which is, I hope they don't hit this. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't Crest Karen that so that uh, Marianne would have a t chance to do a takedown there, but she might still be able to get it on the other person. My efforts are paying off. I was expecting her to get some more strength, to be perfectly honest with you, but that's cool too. Both defenses did you just get? That's actually really sweet. If you did something like this, maybe you could finish with like a Steel Bow. They have some decent uh, defense on them. You could do a Steel Bow there. And then uh, Marianne could do... Ugh, there are a lot of accurate people going after here. I'm sorry, this was not well thought out. Uh, let me pause that already. It's going to end up in tears. No one here has really got good at any good defense. Lawrence is alright, actually. Let's all fall back behind Lawrence. No, Lawrence. I was trying to go speedy because of the the monster, but that doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. We're going to have we're gonna have a chance to deal with that. Especially with Happy's monster expertise. Now let's just hope that you don't uh, die here while everyone else is uh, recuperating. You may as well get the double uh, training bow out on that. And that gives us all our friends some time to, uh, Let's get to it. return here. Is it worth trying to take you down just alone with Leone? Nah, that's silly. I'll screw up everyone up. And I can lure that armored knight over away from uh, the scary bunch there if I did this. Or rather, the, the scared bunch. Just that we Stay can uh, be sure that we're spreading their efforts thin. Careful. Yes, you should be healed. Sorry about all that. Yep. I know, Happy, don't rub it in. I'm a terrible if commander. You say so. Oh, thanks, Raphael. And I'll heal you as well. I wasn't healing you just because you complimented me. All right, uh, the, the boss has decided to go fight the other boss, which is somewhat troubling because we're probably going to lose one of them before we get a chance to take them down. But you've got up to D-plus in swords. That's good. You're just going to die. I don't know why I did that. Promise of money makes people do silly things, I guess. Uh, right, you can shoot uh, back at that, which is actually sort of the best way that could have happened. 
Because now we've got uh, free reign to hit most of them. You're going to come over here, aren't you? Oh, dear. I didn't think you were reaching nuts. I'm sorry, everyone. Nope, that was entirely my fault. I was the one who got you murdered by a giant lizard. I don't think anyone can say that was your fault. Right, well, I was just doing that to make it easier on uh, our bunch there, but we didn't, we didn't actually really have to do that. Careful. I'll be more careful about the this this time, I promise, Claude. If you say so. Okay, now it's getting hurtful, Raphael. I'll bring Violet over here. Just uh, training about that, because I could use some bow experience pretty desperately. Yep. Alright, don't go on about it. You're only a D plus. No, I'm sorry. You're way better than me. <laughs> I just got defensive. That's all. Right, I'll skip this. Uh, they didn't. Armored Knight didn't kill anyone, that's good. Uh, Lawrence did a decent enough job at tanking, and we've uh, lowered this one down a considerable amount. Couldn't you were able to do five with the steel bow curve shot? Oh, I thought you were. Right, I'm gonna get Lorenz out of uh, the front there. I'm gonna have him. I was gonna have him vulnerate himself actually, but this is not a bad time for stride. So do that. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah, go. Yeah, sparklies. Okay, good. And then everyone can run really far now. Mostly, I'm doing this so that you can get the takedown here. Wait, what the hell? Does this one have like way more defense? Oh, they're in the bush. Wait, no, I swear. Why is this all lower? Oh, I must have been remembering the values for this one. Right, well, anyway, we can still manage that. If I do something like this. Uh, she was able to do nine, so we can get our tick down that way. Ow. Dush and yonk. I can't afford to lose. No, you can't. You got a trade secret. Look at you, Marianne. We're on fire. Uh, you would you me? survive two direct hits from the face in this one? Yes. So what you should do is soul blade this one. Dush, yonk, yonk, wonk. You underestimated me. And you're gonna get this awesome level again with both defenses. Awesome. And, um, so you can go after- uh, We don't want that. Will you kill Marianne? Uh, uh, Hilda, I mean? You would. You wouldn't kill Happy, though. Right, they can't get all the way around to this bush and then hit Marianne, so as long as we cover this spot off, we're good. Uh, so we may as well get Happy some sword experience here. Rast strike it. Dush, yonk, yeah. Ah, Nice dodge. And that actually makes this a safe spot now for you to do this, which is nice. Get you a bit of extra experience there, as well as Baltus. Actually, we can move all these people up. I better mark the monster so I don't accidentally go there. We can move this bunch up though, now, though, so we, we ought to. This is actually, it's good that the, the monster went up, uh, the boss went up that way, because now they is all alone. You two could still use some healing. It's your call. And my call is that you guys heal, and don't die for stupid me problems. Okay, that the boss is now coming around, so we're going to be able to engage both bosses sort of at once here. Uh, right, because this is the thieves' turn, so the, the the monster gets a move right after this, and it's gonna just charge towards us. <gasps> oh, it went down that way. Actually, that's perfect because that's it's still not in any of our ranges. Right, so we really got a clean house. Uh, post haste. Marianne, Hilda, happy. Still need takedowns. Marianne, most desperately. How much can you do here? Eight, which is just convenient, isn't it? Because that's how much Hilda can do. Uh, leave you with. Wow. She's got mastery with Myrmidon now. Than I realized. Congrats. Dush and yonk. She's got a bunch of support from uh, Hilda, which is useful. You're up at level 9. About time. Strength and magic would be go both good for you. And defense and res. That was pretty sweet. Some magic would have been sweet, but that's fine. Uh, so you could get up as far as doing a uh, soul blade there this turn. I think we want to do that for in, in the interest of uh, getting this done before they have a chance to... Well, we don't really have much of a choice there. I think we're just going to have to fight the monster at the same time. Which is fine. We're prepared to do that. Especially as we've got uh, plenty of people still with uh, physical gambits. And uh, you've got monstrous appeal. What you haven't got is another vulnerary left, so go and you grab hers. And you could still use a bit more Raphael, so just chug the last of your vulnerary there. Ready He's so beefy that even a full vulnerary doesn't heal him. Oh, you can even curl ch curve on the monster at the moment. Why don't you? Probably get a whole bunch of extra experience for that. Did that just do that much damage? No, that was just my imagination, surely. It must have already been low on health from all the thieves attacking. Okay, so both bosses are going to rush us right now. Uh, oh, that, that, well, that, the boss is going to get attacked by that one, which makes it it's an easy takedown for us, which is nice. It would be best if Marianne could finish it, with, uh, but she doesn't have an attacky battalion, so that's not really an option. I said Marianne Hilda and Happy, so uh, really, Mar uh, Mar uh, Hilda's gonna have the easiest time here. Just do a one swing with an axe. Ah, finish it off. That'll be level 10 for you, almost definitely. Good. And maybe a level for both of us, I didn't check. Luck and defense. I was sort of expecting some strength, but uh, that works as well. And now you're gonna go. You're saying you're gonna go after kill and kill uh, Marianne. Oh, which you, or Hilda rather. Sorry, I keep mixing them up. The staggering blow does might have 15 plus your strength is so oh right yeah 37 right it says here um minus your defense is seven so that's 30. Marianne can almost definitely heal you for uh, up to that. Oh, but not much more. Right. Uh, what's in order here then is a stride. 
Let's try it, everyone here, so we can get someone who can get all, all the way down to this side to lure. Your defense is a little higher. What's your... is mad melee. Uh, so if I... then... okay, I can do this. So if I go over here, I can, uh, swap you over here so that you can run as far to do mad melee here, which, uh, lures it away from everyone else. Can you do some damage with that? Perfect! Okay, good. Because, uh, I think even if you lure them, they still do the staggering blow, right? So... It's gonna come after you with poison breath, which is fine. Rather than killing Mary, uh, Hilda with that. I got this. And he says he's got this, so I believe him. Is there anyone here who can do a one really powerful swing here? Well, Happy can do... Why? Well, she's not been strode. Soulblade doesn't do much because it's got some decent res. Uh, Raphael was probably the right choice then. Oh, Hakkad actually has a bit less experience. Oh, but he grows faster in experience. So let's get you this, uh, just this nice one training sword. Blonk! Because it, while well, it's stunned. Very good. Um, I guess I'll have you throw some curve shots while you're out of its range. Good. We can whittle it down this way. Good. And the curve shot won't do much from you, but you may as well... Oh, you can do one damage there, so might as well. For your uh, skill experience and all, and we're breaking the barrier reasonably well, although I think this one might be the kind of monster that restores it uh, every turn. We're about to find out, but first, we have to take this in the face. Ah, oh, they're just balls sitting there. We can just dodge around those easily. Ah! Or not. Mercifully, you can't get murdered by poison in this game. Right, I say we do the mad melee again. Thank you for agreeing to do that. Uh, but this time, only for the purpose of destroying the barrier. Let's give it a try. He sounds like he's trying out like a new ice cream flavor he's never had before. He doesn't sound like he's about to send people into armed conflict with a giant F off lizard. Uh, no, Ignatz. Um, disturbance, though. Uh, we could land that right here, and that would probably be nice and good and proper. And we'll have this thing destroyed in no time, this barrier. You might not be able to get the monster destroyed all in one turn. You use all your strides already, haven't you? Since you have a low defense, we want to. We got to have you be attacking uh, on its turn, or on while well, it's stunned, rather. So why don't you soul blade uh, this barrier open? It's only six damage, but the next attack we do to break this barrier, we're all de almost certainly also uh, take it down this health bar. Uh, no, it won't because I want you to do this. Dush. And now that it's all busted open, everyone can attack uh, with Reckless Abandon this turn. Though I don't suppose we'll be able to uh, utterly finish it off. Ooh. Right, I gotta remember, the way extra effectiveness works in this game is it doubles the might of the weapon. So, you want to be using weapons with high might with happy against monsters. So the Steel Bow here has a, a might of 9, so it becomes a might of 18, which is why our attack power is so absurdly high with it. Good, so we'll save that for the next health bar then. Who's going to be doing a very small damage uh, amount of damage here? Probably Claude is actually going to be doing the least, surprisingly. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe it is Lawrence. Oh, well, you're not doing too much damage unless you get a crit, so we, we don't want to bank on the crit. Even though you got a crit, <laughs> we didn't want to bank on it, so I think it was right to do that with you. And have everyone else uh, loose as many of these arrows into them as possible. You're only getting uh, one hit with the training bow. Well, it's the same with the training sword, actually, so you better get out of the way and let someone who can uh, double do that and just do a curb shot instead. Rubidon Mastery! Yes! A lot of people are getting that. Likewise, happy you're not too speedy, especially with the steel bow, so you may as well just pull your 15 with the curved shot steel bow there. Nice. We're all probably fast enough to double this thing. Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, that would be only me. So I, I'm the one who's gonna, who wants to go in close, probably with the training sword here. I'll do that. Yonk. Yonk. That was some good damage. We might even get down this uh, its first bar this turn. Can you, you? So you can't be doubling with anything. So you might as well be going with the steel bow here. The one extra damage is not really... Oh, it might be enough uh, to get it down this first bar, this last bar this turn, so let's do that. What are your other latent abilities, by the way? Uh, you've already got Heartseeker, right. Well, that's fine, because we are going to try to avoid taking damage. Uh, getting... Get, having... being targeted at all. Oh, that's your only latent ability, I see. Ah, it was good, worth doing the curved shot on Claude, because now it's just where Lawrence can actually get the takedown here. Yonk! On this first health... on this health bar, anyway. Not this first health bar, but just this health bar. That's that now. Okay, good. So, uh... If it can be helped, though, again, Happy, Marianne, or Marianne and Happy right now, uh, crucially, getting the takedown are, is what we want. So how much could Marianne do with Steel Sword is what really uh, we want to be using for her. I bet that Marianne, uh, or Hilda, rather, um, oh, you get double with this. That's not my favorite. You don't get double with the Iron Axe. And go for a Smash, why don't you, because there's a decent crit chance there. No uh, go, but Crystal makes them no counterattack happens, so you're still in good health. I suppose we're going to try and have it finished before this turn is over, but just in case we don't. Um, so you can only do five of that, which is a bit of a shame. I'm going to put uh, ha Mary uh, Happy sorry here. The training sword, you could do some damage, but uh, I'm, pu I'm putting you here because they are going to automatically target you now. I guess you might as well do the gambit just to, for the extra damage. Time to shape things up. Time to shape things up. 
So now that Jadon did that, uh, everyone else can just go ham him without fear of being targeted, being the next target, because they're just gonna go after you. Even if even if you didn't have your monster thing, they would go after you because of the gambit. Uh, that's fine. And everyone else should just go absolutely buck wild with attacks. And you have a very low chance of actually getting hit here, so I say go for the crit, like that. Yay! Ooh, nice dodge. Good damage, Leone. Even in, if you're hiding in the woods here, you have a decent chance of getting axed, so it's probably not a good idea. Ah! Uh... Well, no. Well, no, nah, I don't know. Okay, uh, just um, go for that, and we'll deal with it next turn. So just everyone hold there. Uh, you're going to go after Happy. You're not going to kill her because she's way too dang tough. Oh, right. I forgot that you could choose to go attack from range. I thought I forgot. I, I thought I was I was thinking too much about um, how gambits work on normal people and that it stuns them. Right. I'm more worried about Marianne than Happy, uh, so I'll try and get Marianne the takedown here, uh, which should be easy if I do something like this. Don't crit me. Thank you. And then you can just run up and... <laughs> down, foul beast, down. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Good amount of experience we got from that. And now we can force this into a hot declare. Maybe not, we can't do it immediately, but... Uh, might as well want... Oh, that was a lot of money we got for that. And the MVP, Marianne or Hilda. Uh, Lysithia, I was going to say, but it was Marianne. Well done, you. That was actually a bit of a long-winded uh, training mission, more than I was intending, but... We done did it, so can't really complain. With that amount of money, we'll have uh, the chance now to uh, potentially class a bunch of people up, as our only level nines presently are Marianne and Happy, which we'll surely be able to rectify in the next uh, battle mission. So presumably before the next uh, battle quest, well, like it, 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 only, it matters that people pass their their Myrmidon exam, I guess, or thief exam, sorry, which we can give a leg up right now by having everyone uh, learn some more sword. I'm not going to change their goals because we're all close enough with sword that if we don't make it. We're close to making it anyway. And it's just a bit of money we lose if we if we fail the exam anyway. Uh, I may yet be able to... Actually, I'll at least uh, give you one sword just to push you over the edge uh, there. Right. So you can get it to D+. I believe you got it right. You're excellent at this. And other things. Well done. No, I just got lucky. I, I don't believe you. Other than that, though... Should we teach you in some brawling or flying? Right, you have a weakness in flying, so we want to give you, give you that as much as possible. Because you're already quite nimble, so... Right. Being additionally ga be getting to have the... Avoidance Plus uh, later on in the campaign will be very useful. As for you, you're already at Thief, so we don't even need to worry about your uh, sword fighting. We really desperately want your brawling, so let's do that. Well done. Don't stop. Keep it coming. Oh, I will. You're going to punch so many things today. As for you, because you're a mage, I've also got you. Oh, right, you have a weakness in brawling, so we, we can't uh, let off on that. One little bit. Well done, Marianne. You're doing spectacularly. As for you, you don't especially excel at any of the skills at the moment. I suppose brawling does make a sense for a lot of them, because we want to we want to get it to the healing focus, like, post-haste, so we can stop caring about brawling and focus you on the other things, because really the other things are more pressing... Well, it, it, like, brawling as a as as a whole isn't really pressing in the short term, because for our mages, we're going to... We need it up to A for aura gauntlets, which is going to happen way later. And so as long as we have A by that point, it's good. But we want healing focus pretty desperately, because no one, no one, everyone's bad at healing, and we're spending a lot of money on vulnerabilities and stuff. But we also more desperately need the bow and uh, swords that we can stop missing <laughs> all the time. And the flying for the avoidance plus, because that's good to have as early on. But I think the, the brawling does take priority because I want healing focus. That's maybe maybe just slightly erroneous, but it is my personal uh, philosophy uh, at the moment. Now, shall we teach Constance or Yuri? I'm thinking Balthus is already getting some more skills from being... Well, although we also have him at the highest level, so... Uh... Oh, you go. Balthus. And it doesn't really matter what we teach him, I guess. Uh, except, I mean, he is fighting with a sword while we're while we are having him as an agent, so I guess we may as well just dump all in sword. Couldn't have done it alone. I think you could have. You're good at this. Nobody. Not a damn. That that's who. Couldn't have done it alone. Oh, couldn't you, though? Very good, and that's all our points. Uh, let me just check. I think we still have Happy and Coco on flying together. We've had that for a long time. It's a shame, because Happy is going to have probably the highest bond with Constance. I imagine they have an ending together, but I'm probably going to be ripping <laughs> Constance away from Happy, uh, Happy away from Constance. And into my warm and loving embrace. I'm sure Constance will find someone. <laughs> Can't have Happy! Sorry. I mean, we'll let Happy decide when the time comes, won't we, Constance? You're my rival in love, I hope you know that. Speaking seriously for the moment, uh, because they both uh, excel in flying, I think it does make sense to keep them on this together. And does that... Does the performance they have in the chores make their b uh, bond grow quicker? I'm not sure. Probably when they reach max bond, I'll start pairing someone else up for our... Uh, uh, 
for this whole thing. I don't think we're going to be needing too much heavy armor. Like, again, it lowers your weight, which is useful for uh, assassins, but the decks would almost definitely be more worth it. And really, it's only plus four, so we're probably not going to be using that by the end game. We're more likely to use the avoidance plus. So it would be, we'd be bringing someone else with Sky on the Skywatch once these two reach max support, I think. And since Marianne has got um, a, a strength in it, we'd probably be bringing her and someone I want to build her support with. So I guess Ignatz, because he's also got a weakness in it. I don't know. That's that's not for now. We're going really slowly in our actual weapons at the moment because of all this, but uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna make it harder at first, but it's gonna pay off in a big way. I is how I feel. Well, by the time we actually start getting all these skills, begin lecture. I gotta ask you something. Please, this gives me lots of professor level. I just want to eat meat and fish, but everyone in the dining hall says I gotta eat vegetables too. I'm never gonna get full on some stupid leaves. Eating vegetables will help your muscles grow. Trying to be so picky, stop complaining. Appreciate what you have. These two are just so mean. <laughs> Eating vegetables will help your muscles grow. It makes sense to me. There you go. Easy as. Oh, got a thousand points for that. We're near to our next professor level. Well, it's Catherine's birthday. How convenient. Uh, she's probably into some sharp. I I always think all the, the, the really combative and fighty people want mint because mint's sharp. Do you like mint? Oh, you didn't invite me here for a duel? A birthday duel? No, it's not really my thing. I've seen it go wrong too many times, more times than I care to admit. Gerald used to challenge me to once all the time. That's when I stopped emoting. Anyway, Thanks. it's not her favorite, but alas. We don't, even, we don't even have C with her, do we? That's why we've only got five cookies this together. Nice. Three of them are chocolate, too. We don't even have any evenness in it. It's nice? Oh, good to hear. Evaluating allies books you've read recently, Monastery Mysteries. She's more into oh. that, probably. Talking about which of our allies could probably take me in a tavern brawl. Uh, which is none of them. Plans for the future of places you'd like to visit. Thanks yeah. for everything you do as a member of the Knights to keep our community safe, Catherine. What are your hopes <laughs> for the future? Oh, keeping working on the Knights is this Lady Rhea. Is Ash and Demon. It's good, but not as good as Thunder Catherine. I didn't pick it. Uh, no, mine's better. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I had a feeling she'd like that. <laughs> Tell me your forehead secrets. Why are you staring at my hair? My eyes are down here. <laughs> uh, because your hair is super cool. Actually, it is kind of weird. It has like an orange glow on the underside. It's very unusual. I'm totally enraptured now. But, uh, see you. Thanks Happy birthday. Invite me again when you like. Bye. I will. I will. Don't worry. I will. Next time I need our bond. We enjoy our time together. Charisma. Right, I guess, uh, Hoppy's charisma growth isn't necessarily amazing. Uh, it's just uh, that... You get all a bunch of extra from tea parties and such. Catherine would like to speak to me. Now's a superb time. How about that birthday shindig we had yesterday? That was great, wasn't it? I wonder why. It was great because we put our heart into the celebration, Catherine. That's why. Sorry? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? Because she's a weirdo. You're not particularly strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. I can't argue with you that. I guess. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Nah. <laughs> came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. That's probably because Shamir turns down all the birthday invites and goes to shoot pictures of centipedes in the woods in her spare time. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship, unprecedented. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> what makes her think I know about anything but book learning and book teaching and books? Sorry. I'm not blaming you. I'm just perplexed. All right, you might want to change your tone then. I think you're sending the wrong message. <laughs> and it's not like just anyone can wield the sword of the creator. Sure they can. It's just heavy for other people. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Gerald. Could be. She's got a thing for him too. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros. And probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlin. What is he? He's still in tip-top shape. By the time I joined, he was gone. So I don't know him too well, but he's strong, right? I mean, he's not in tip-top shape. That was a bit of an exaggeration. Not as strong as people say. Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. I mean, everyone has their off days. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Gerald used his influence to help you. Actually, it was sort of the opposite. He was very against me coming here. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. There's nothing more to me. I'm exactly as what meets the eye. Okay, 
That settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Stalking me. You're going to stalk me, and you've just admitted this openly. Well, this is fun. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Uh, um... Fun chat. Bond up to sea. Well, that was nice and fun and good. Thanks, Catherine. This is I proof will... enough that the bond we forged You love talking about how you guys met underground. It's a little weird. <laughs> anyway, good job, though. And that's flying up to D4. Happy. Not my head. Oh, you learned with your heart and you were learning with Constance. That's so sweet. What have we learned this month? I get it. You guys have learned stuff. That's less important. Ah, I finally get it. It is still far from enough. Right, okay. Everyone, we're not playing as God stuff. Got it, good. But we did get a few people just reaching a new uh, tier in flying just then, which is good. Right, and Raphael got support from, uh, some uh, motivation from me answering the question. Good, so we uh, gotta head back to the monastery, and today we gotta really bring people's motivations up, so we're probably gonna doing, going to be doing a lot of meals today. But what I would like to do, I've got another support! Holy balls! We just unlocked so many supports, dude. Right, well, it would make it easier to do the next uh, battle day, but what I'm going to do instead is those- that will be the next episode we do, is I'll, I'll carry on with the uh, monastery day and the battle day here, and then right before we do um, the next story mission, we will listen to all the supports. Uh, so that'll be the, what the next episode is, and then, then, then we'll do the next story mission the episode after next. Guys, right, it's already episode 20, can you believe that? How the time flies. Uh, so certifications, I've got Thief. Is that, what's this one called? Mercenary, right, okay. Claude, uh, what's your chances of getting to Thief now? It's still 66 or so, 67, that's not bad. Some of us can't even attempt Thief though, or that low on, in Sword. 66 for you, 67 for you. I said he already has it. Right, so most of us will be at 66 uh, with our current Sword. Because I've been some flying though, uh, you have a decent chance to pass uh, Pegasus not even, because you've already also got some lance under your belt. Right, uh, so a few of us re recently just hit mastery in uh, Myrmidon, so they're the ones we want to be test trying with, uh, trying to class up here, I would say. Uh, so that's Raphael and Hilda. Uh, Raphael, Hilda, and Leone are the ones we want to try uh, first and foremost, but I guess if we have enough money, we'll try them all. Although you only can buy a limited number of them, can't you? Right, okay, so we're, we only get four at the moment, and it might be worth selling them because I think they restock by the, the month, so if I mess it up now, it's not like I can try again next uh, week, but I'm feeling a little gutsy here. Let's try the, the three who already have the mastery in Myrmidon anyway. So that's uh, Hilda, Raphael, and uh, uh, I forget the other one, but come on, Hilda, you can do it. Ah, she's got musical notes. She thinks she can do it. Woo! Yes. Well done. And uh, level up in something. Res, probably. Oh no, Dex! Oh, oh up to 11! I guess I did it! Excellent! So it brings you up to 11. This is, this is part of the thing, is you kind of want to do it as early as possible because she might have gotten Dex in a few levels, uh, in the next few levels she got, which would have been completely wasted if it was going to bring her up to 11 anyway. Alright, it was Leone. Okay, so Leone and. So you've probably got, um,. Enough decks that isn't going to be, uh, right, you've got a 16. So it brought her, uh, it brought Hilda up to, to 11, but then also buffed her as far as 15. So it gives you plus 4? Really? That's pretty incredible. Whatever the case, we want Raphael uh, to get that, and it's almost definitely going to increase his dex, uh, oh, his dex is 10 anyway. Uh, but, uh, we might not succeed this one because we did just have his one success. Come on, Raphael. Oh, he's got musical notes too! Yeah! Look at you guys go. Our luck may be turning for the better here. Although, uh, statistically speaking, it is most supported. Oh, amazing. This is amazing here. This is one of the, the, the things where it's like, classing people into the classes that are bad for them is really good because it picks up their soft sets a whole bunch and alters the growths a bit. So now they have decent growth in that area and they keep their good growth and strength and stuff. So now Raphael's like, he's gonna be a, a wicked machine here just like to do was. He's got amazing strength dex, uh, strength and dex. His speed and defense are all right. His res is two. <laughs> but if uh, if sixty six percent of ours are going to be a success, which obviously it wasn't, it's not what it means. It means you have your odds of passing are sixty six percent. But the most likely outcome in that case is that we succeed two and fail one. So Leone, chances aren't amazing. And if you fail this, just know that it was my fault for the probabilities. It had nothing to do with your failure as a student. The odds were there that. But I believe, I believe, oh my god, hell yeah, dude. Oh, amazing. So you're probably not going to get any stat buffs in that because you're already wickedly nimble, but that's amazing. And probably it's best not to push our luck anymore. Oh, except that Claude also already has the mastery, uh, right? 
for Myrmidon, so he is also uh, among the people I want for this. Okay, Claude. Now, I'm going to run some quick calculations for you, just so you have all the facts here. The probability dictates <laughs> that the chance of you succeeding this is, uh... I have a 19% chance with the 366s that just passed, I think. I'm not a math professor, I'm a sword instructor. You're going to have to take that with a grain of salt. But if you do it, you've prevailed against lesser odds before. You'll be a straight-up legend if none, not a single one of these failed, Claude. I know you can do it. Just remember how hard swinging the sword was at first and now how easy it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely show-stopping. You did, Claude. Legend. Straight-up legend over here. The thief, has, if it doesn't look as nice on you as the other one did, though, so I think I want to change your appearance. It looks all right, but I think this looks a little better. Oh, Lawrence doesn't look bad in the Murdon outfit. But he's not going to be there for long, so I... I'll keep in the monastery outfit. Most of them, I, they look, I think they look a little nicer in the monastery. <laughs> Raphael looks kind of nice as a thief. I mean, I'll put him in the thief outfit, actually. He looks kind of fun in that. He looks great in the Myrmidon as well. Oh, well, I said he looks kind of cool as a thief. Especially with her personal color scheme of, like, the white and red. Yeah, we're keeping on that. And you look awesome as a Myrmidon, so we're obviously keeping that. Hilda, I think you look nicer in the, the monastery outfit. This is the really important part of, of Fire Emblem. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for the important details at the moment, is how, how cool we look at any given moment. Leona looks really awesome in the, in the, the school outfit, so I'm going to keep her with that. Um, Myrmidon, you actually look super dope as a Myrmidon with your green color scheme. And I don't look awesome as the thief, so I think I'll keep with the monastery outfit. At first, I was keeping it, everyone in the all blacks just because I thought it was kind of cool to have us all with, like, the, the matching school uniform rushing into battle. But we've had our fun with that. I think we can start just ch picking and choosing which one we like more uh, now. So we're going to the Battalion's Guild. Let's uh, head out to explore and spend some of these points because we've got six, five, five. And we've got a handful more money now, so we could uh, have a decent time buying some more gifts and stuff. But really what I want to be spending my thing on is uh, getting my writing up for Petra's sake. Um, I found a wonderful painting at the shop in town. What a shame keeping this masterpiece all to myself. Can you think of an art lover in Garrick Mock I could share it with? Hubert always could use some cheering up. You could show it to Sylvain. Aloise seems like it would enjoy a good painting. He does. Sylvain would probably make fun of you. Hubert, I think, uh, Aloise seems like he would enjoy a good painting. Gah. So no, Sylvain does have some interest in the fine arts. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. I think Alois would enjoy it too, but maybe he wouldn't have uh, quite as an appreciation for the subtleties that <laughs> Ignaz is looking for. Uh, there are three notes though, so I've clearly been sucking. There's just a drawing of what looks like a broken vase. <laughs> um, if it was, you should apologize to the owner. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Find a similar vase and swap it out. Uh, he probably wants to hear this. I don't have the heart to say that. Uh, well, I mean, no, you should. Well, I guess apologizing is right, but I don't. I, I feel bad because he's so hard on himself. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. God damn it! He wanted to hear the apologizing thing. I'm so bad at this. I have always despised the heat, even as a child. Me too, Dimitri. So one must be prepared to fight anywhere, no matter the conditions. Have you any advice for enduring the heat? Um, look for clothing and armor that breathe better. He does natural part of life to so learn to enjoy it. Fight it off using magic. Look for clothing and armor that breathe better. He's always into to battle prep and such, so I reckon that would be good for him. All right, I was like, did they give me any supports? I forgot we have a whole bunch here to still do. Constance, oh, Constance happy up to be. Oh, thank God. That's going to be one of the ones we're going to be watching in our next support theater, which is next episode. Right now, though, I need some writing, so, um, all right, Sedith is in no fifth state to teach me that, but Gerald is. Hey, you. Hey, you. Writing. Ah, I've only been getting goods on those. It's a shame. In fact, I might, oh, no, I do, I still, I need to do at least two meals Probably it would be better if we did three to get people's motivations up. No, I could buy some gifts for motivation. It would probably be easier if I did a, uh, a bit of the motivation with uh, meals, but I also really do need to start. It's it's very much appropriate at this point to start picking up my soft skills for recruitment purposes. Young what? Who would just blame? Oh, I just got Bond for answering that, even though I answered the other thing first. Uh, let's just... Oh, right, you could teach me writing as well, which is really what I want here. I think since we're at B, maybe D is enough. Practice yields results. We're gonna find out. It, it did say I was rather close to being uh, at the max with Petra, so that is something to consider here. We've got 6,000 gold, and we can actually probably sell. We, we picked up some bullions and stuff, didn't we? So, Oh, but right now, we need to buy some vulnerabilities as well, so I, I, better, I better prioritize that rather than uh, gifts for people. And I gotta get rid of all these half-used vulnerabilities. Oh, I've still got Ambrosia. I don't suppose uh, classing into Myrmidon is gonna give you any defense, is it? Well, it might. Your defense is a little uh, sad. Or, uh, not Myrmidon, uh, Thief. I'm actually gonna look it up, what the class minimums are for a Thief. Whoa, the Fire Mimiki has a dope picture of Edelgard as a Thief on the cover for the 
wiki page. No, it is six, so classing into thief isn't going to get you any extra defense, so might as well be using the Ambrosia on you now, as is our uh, intention the whole way through. Oh, right, and I gotta not forget to go to the uh, greenhouse yet again. As for the goddess icon, it permanently increases luck. Uh, so should we just pick up someone who's got low luck, which would be could also be you, or we could increase someone who's got excellent luck. It does make some amount of sense to give it to Happy if she's going to be a tank so that she's avoiding crits. That said, um, someone who's very nimble like Ignatz or Leone could probably also use it because if we're going to be putting them in, in dodge tanky situations, we want to make sure that even if they get hit once, there's no chance of that like being a rogue crit. I think I'll give luck to... Leone. I'll give that to Leone. I mean, it's good It's good for anyone to have, really. There's no... I wouldn't say there's usually... Usually there isn't really a wrong person to give luck to. It is sort of one of the lesser used skills overall, anyway, I would say. Or does it also help with your crit chance in this game? Oh, I gotta look it up. Because if so, it, it's good for her, Leone, anyway, as well, because we want her doing lots of crits. Oh, it is okay. So this, this, this answer here says that it's weapon crit plus skill crit plus battalion crit plus... Open parenthesis, open parenthesis, dex plus luck, close parenthesis, divide by two, close parenthesis, plus your art crit. So, um, the dex and luck are added together and then divided by two. The average between the two of them is what gets added. So to do lots of crits, you want high dex and luck. So actually, that Leonie was a good person to give it to because we want high crits for her anyway. Right, I don't know why I always think, I think maybe it's, um, luck doesn't have anything to do with crits in the Tellius games, and that's why I always mix it up. Or it, it's only for crit avoid, uh, avoidance and not for your crits. Hello. Did I already sell the bullion? Welcome. Or the bouillon? I did not. Thank you. Oh, and right, I, I also... I got, right, do the vulnerabilities first. Thank Let's not get sidetracked now. And we want to keep a few you. extra in the convoy, Please which I think I out. already have. Yes, good. Sorry, now we can spend money on frivolous oh, things for our friends. You know what? I have to imagine that a higher star one increases your bond more with someone when you give it to them, but I, I genuinely don't know by how much it is, and if it's more worth it to just give it, uh, them to peop the ones who will actually want them. Like, if I give a cheap, uh, like a one star to someone who really wants it, I don't know if that's more bond than giving a four star to one who only kind of likes it. So let me just buy all the cheaper ones first from both of you who have a good eye. Oh, I want enough money to be able to uh, cultivate those, so let's not... Let's do that first. Am I close to another professor level, actually? I think I am somewhat. I have one experience away from the next level. Uh, but if it's professor level, um, right. I don't think I could get that much by just doing meals. So even if I did all meals, with I think we'd still be at D plus by the end of this monastery day. So I won't worry about that. Or C, rather. I'll just do this now. Ambrosia? Yes! I think two root and one eastern has been going well for us. Let's keep going with that. Here you are, darling. Ultam! Ultam! That's your defense up at eight, is it not? Marvelous, marvelous. It's at least not our lowest now. <laughs> right, um, so since I just bought a bunch of gifts, let's uh, hand those out to people in our party to get some motivations up uh, as much as possible. And at that point, we'll decide whether we need to do some more meals to, to round it out or whether we can spend the rest of our points on getting up my soft skills. Floral adornment. Uh, most ladies and those who like gardening might be something Hilda's kind of into because it's sort of fashion adjacent. Are there any other gardening nuts in our party? Marianne probably likes flowers. I don't know that she's really into gardening uh, as it's, as such. And uh, he'll just hang out with Claude. So let's go say hi to them. Here you are. You're sweet, thanks. Wasn't a major like, but uh, I'll take that. Uh, oh, these probably would be. Oh, no, embroidery and handcraft. That's not quite the same as fashion. Stylish hair club, of course, would be I something you'd want. It. Thank you so much. Anytime, partner. Really, what I should be doing is uh, dividing it up, though. Of course, worst game to worst, we could get some more support with me and Yuri and uh, Constance, because we still have the high support with them. So that's not, it's not as though we absolutely need everyone uh, else to be uh, in good motivations, because Raphael's got a little bit, Hilda's got a fair bit, Yuri and Bal uh, Constance are at uh, max. So if we just had one more person, then we could at least teach everyone something useful and get support points out of it. And it actually might be worth doing, just give some of these gifts to people from other houses that I know will like them. If, if I don't, if there's not much point in giving it to someone in our house. But, uh, Black City almost definitely will like the sweet too, uh, the, the big treat, so let's give her that. There you go. For me? I love it. You are most welcome, my friend. You didn't technically say thank you, but I knew what you meant. Oh wait, is Marianne into, well, she's in my party, I can check. Is she into embroidery? I think she's into, maybe she's maybe into, cause she's got like a little hedgehog satchel. Nah, whatever. I'll just give it to Bernadetta. Thank you. Oh, I thought she was into embroidery. Bugger! <laughs> uh, right, well, let's just give the, the rest of these to someone in our party who I want to be getting up in skills anyway. I sort of want Marianne's sword up a bunch, uh, because I, I hope she'll get a, a magic combat or tune. I'm sure she gets Hexblade or something like that early enough on, but I don't want to look it up, obviously. Because if I forgot, that's on me. Well, I know, I don't know. 
I just don't feel like looking that particular thing up. I'd rather just find it out myself at the moment. But Lawrence is also in desperate need of it because he can't even try for Thief at the moment. So I think I'll get Lo Oh, right, he's a fashionable man, isn't he? He would like the, the thing that fashionable men want that I have, which I forget what it is. If only I could find him. Right, right, he was over at the sort of crossroads here suggesting that maybe Flane just ran away. Look at this kitty, beautiful pearl white cat here. An Ordalian, is it? Hello. Hello. He probably wants this. Kind of you. What? How does it But he's just a fashion. He's always wearing a rose and. Oh, whatever. I want to uh, bring him all these things anyway because I want to get his motivation up high. If you insist. I was going to say, he probably uh, only realized very late that he probably wouldn't like gardening and would be getting his hands dirty, wouldn't it? And probably similar for fishing. How kind of you. Oh, no, he's alright with fishing. Alright, there we go. He probably can, could, could twist that to be that there is some nobility in the art of fishing. By oneself on a lone pier. I'm gonna give the cat some fruit. If it's an Ordelian, it probably likes sweet things. Never mind. It's too full. Right, so I'm satisfied with our uh, motivation levels at the moment. We're not gonna be getting maximum teaching uh, for everyone, but I don't feel like spending much more money on it, and I think I would like to get some of my soft skills up so we can start actually getting some proper recruitments. Uh, so I will do a bunch of faculty training and stuff now. I have no skill in any of these things. Let's go for Lance, because that's probably one of the more useful ones. Oh, shoot, that wasn't horse riding at the bottom, was it? Because I definitely should have done that if it was. I definitely need uh, the magics up for you, because there are plenty of people who want to learn magic. Thank you. Oh, Shamir and Anna can both teach me stuff. Anna's probably going to be like swords and bows. Ooh, all kinds of stuff. Sword, bow, uh, sure, I'll give me some faith then. Thank you. And I got one of the stars in that. I recently learned that it's actually a consistent number. I think maybe I mentioned this in the play video already. It's a consistent number of uh, teaching sessions you need to have for the stars to develop. It's not a like an RNG thing. But it might be a little different uh, for Bilas since teaching is... You don't get as many sessions with him or with them. Uh, that's all we want to do here, right? I did plan everything at the greenhouse. Got all the goods I needed to. Looked at the troubles. Bought some stuff. Had some fun. Did the hokey pokey. Turned all around. Good. Let's head on. To teaching and then to battle again. And then we'll have cleared this uh, month's side activities. It's going to be another uh, sort of two-hour episode of doing all of this. But we're making some decent progress and in, in growth and all this. Very happy about those two ambrosias. All right, Lauren, starting with you. I think I said we wanted to go all sword with you. I think I had been going brawling with you. But uh, in the interest of getting you to class up soon, let's do this. That was adequate. It was adequate, was it? Are you talking about your performance or mine? Well done, you. Raphael, what have I been teaching you in? Probably bow, right? I was about to ask why you had reason. I'm guessing you had reason because I brought you to a seminar with Hanneman for your bow experience. That's probably it. Uh, Yeah, carry on with brawling and flying, and I'll teach you some bow uh, personally here. Well, well done! You really think I'm that great? I do, Raphael. That great and more. Look at you, D+. Plus. I'm still growing. That's incredible for someone who allegedly has a weakness in it. I see no weakness here. I mean, he is pretty sweet with a bow anyway, because his strength is just so ridiculously good. As for Lysidia, I've been giving you just all wrong. I think we carry on with that. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't study hard enough, clearly. It's okay, buddy. We all have our off days. That's okay. I just need to work harder. I believe in your capacity to do so. I've been giving you lots of brawling, have I? Your sword and bow are doing all right. I guess I could give you a bit of axe. Oh, I didn't even try to forge the hoe to Claire. We should probably do I'm pretty sure I don't have the level for it, but I'm, we should we should give it a try in a minute here. Um, yeah, your ex will grow in its own time. Let's just get some more brawling. I think I got the hang of it. Well done, you. Especially with your high strength, the brawling will be good for you. Oh, yeah. Getting the hang of it. <laughs> Provided we give you any gauntlets at some point. We should probably give everyone some training gauntlets. It's, it's, most people are have a little bit of room here, and it would be it would be nice to have just a bit of a slightly speedier means of attack here. Uh, I taught Constance already myself somewhat, did not not? No, I taught Balthus. I haven't taught Yuri or Constance ever, have I? Uh, let's teach Yuri. Why not? I could get you a bit of bow just because I'm curious about your, uh, your budding talent in it. Uh, whatever. I'll just keep going with the sword for now. In case I ever could bring you as an adjutant with a sword. All thanks to you. Oh. You had some part in it, too. Don't, don't sell yourself so short, Yuri. I said to keep your task in the same spot and begin lecture. A question! Oh, I thought it was a question I would have been able to get, uh, my professor level up. You are no doubt aware of my magical prowess, however... However, I may find myself unable to use magic in certain situations. Help me master sword skills, and I can protect myself no matter what may transpire in the heat of battle. No. Keep going with sword and bow. This is assassin's time. But, uh, you would make a badass sword master. That would look so cool. Hello? It says a Petra wants to jump behind me! Oh, right, I forgot to even go around and ask people if they wanted to join after all that. Of course I'll hear them out! Hey, Petra, how's it going? I am spending my days with devotion to my studies. There is something I think of when looking at you. What's that? I am feeling that the way you are teaching would give me great benefit. That's so, so cool of you to say. Be switching to your class? Yes. 
I would like to be requesting that of you. Please! Come on in! So much gratitude. I'm still without... Uh, still not used to the speaking of your language. That's fine, that's fine. This is not what I judge people's merit based on. But I have full comprehension. Please, Professor. Teach me all of the things you know. Ah, well, now that you're locked in, you will be able to learn that I don't know a goddamn thing. But that's fine there. Uh, I didn't even, I, would, I hadn't even been thinking. That the bond we forged underground has borne fruit. Please stop talking about how you met each other underground. <laughs> but well done, you two. And let's see how everyone else's skills grew. I think I get it now. Rushing blows, you're up at sea. As it. are you. Perfect. Still got room to grow. Excellent. Uh, good. So we can finally be bringing Petra around on our missions, which probably means we're going to start having to bring some of our friends on as adjutants, uh, like some of our main party. Which might mean that Balthus is going to take a back seat for a bit until we get more adjutant slots. I mean, the max adjutants you get is three, right? So by the time we have Petra and Catherine on our party, we're going to have two adjutants that are part of our main cast and then one extra adjutant on top of it who we're using just for supports most of the time. Which will probably mostly in Endgame be giving to Happy because she doesn't have many supports with the other main, members of the main cast. In terms of supports, Petra. Who does Petra have? She's also got one with Claude and Ignatz in our party. Cool. Those are the only two people, other two people in our party that she'll have supports with. But that's cool that she gets two deer. Oh, and her supports with Astro so sweet. Just gonna have a quick look at all our abilities right, uh, and see if now uh, anyone we have any ones that we probably want over the ones we have now. So close counter would be useful for you. I think close counter and speed we want more than authority and brawling prowess. We could use the speed up for you more again than authority probably. For you, we probably want the authority more than the brawling prowess. As for you, we want a speed for sure. Even if you're not, we're not sitting on focusing on you doing non-combat art attacks a whole lot. This still helps your dodge, and it helps you not get doubled when you go to do a combat art, which means we'll be able to use you for more combat arts. And your gambit is the magic one, so we probably want the might up for that. We could use your speed up more than we could use the brawling prowess equipped. We could use your speed up because it's already incredible more than the authority up. Oh, uh, more than the lance up, actually, because the authority you're probably going to be using more than lances eventually. Petra, you've got a uh, sword, axe, and bow. Awesome. And she's a level 11 thief, so she's right, fits right in with our party at the moment. And her text and speed are wild. And she came with an ambrosia. Oh, did she really? Thank you so much, Petra. See, Pat, Pet happy. Even if Petra supports our love. Now you're up at nine. Awesome. Okay, sweet. Uh, I gotta get you some gear is what I gotta do. Which is good, because we needed to head to the uh, smith anyway. To check on this Hoteclair thing. Uh, we need to be A. Oh, we need to be A+, plus and it needs a bunch of mithril. Okay, so that's, that's way late game. Uh, and I... My recollection was that the axe was, like, slightly underwhelming. It will probably all be good with swords at that point anyway. But I, there's no harm in keeping it around anyway, because it doesn't sell for much anyway. I said anyway a lot. Okay, I could forge your steel sword into... Eleven swords soon enough, right? That's why I'm keeping. That's part of the reason I'm keeping you around with one. I don't really have the money to do or what I'd like to do, which is to give everyone some training gauntlets at the moment. Uh, but I can at least start by giving Petra uh, the training sword and bow, as I have everyone else. And what are your goals set to presently? Sword and axe. Let's pull that into brawling and flying, like I've got everyone else on. As for unit appearance, uh, Petra. Uh, we could have you in that. I mean, Petra does look badass as a thief, but does she also look badass in the school uniform? Yes. <laughs> I think I like Raphael in this one more because this one, it makes his arms look really small, which looks weird on Raphael. His arms and his body, look they look they look more like the, his actual size <laughs> with this one. Right, and we have a, a handful of smithing stones still to use, uh, so we can get those done. Uh, is there anyone else who has training weapons that are not uh, at max yet? We could forge up some of uh, Happy's weapons because she's using them a fair bit. Right, we're gonna replace all steel weapons with silver weapons once we get the opportunity to use them. So I won't, I won't put too many resources into upgrading our steel weapons at the moment. But I think right now it's mostly just appropriate to repair anything that's uh, looking pretty bad, except for your steel lance because you got a ton of other weapons. You could use a bit in your training sword. You'll have to last another battle with it. You could use your training sword now, though. You could probably use your steel sword. Well, again, you'll last one more battle with it. Oh, but I might not have more spinning stones if I don't do it now. Oh, okay, I'll do yours. Everyone else is probably good. Happy? How are you? You are, uh, fine, if I do say so. And your weapon's looking good to repair, too. Oh, we do have one pair of training gauntlets uh, that we fished out of the garbage. <laughs> so let's give those to someone. What's your strength, Petra? It's pretty sturdy. We want someone fast, uh, and it's Leon either Leone or her who's going to have them. And uh, Le uh, Petra has way more strength, so I think we give her the those trainers there. I guess we can give them uh, some iron ones out, too. So, Le Leone, why don't you take some iron gauntlets? We just won't buff them up at the moment. Actually, sure I will, because I'm, I'm going to want some buffed up uh, training gauntlets at some point for someone anyway, I'm sure. So I may as well buff those up now for Petra's sake, as they, we found them in the garbage and all. But let's keep a bit of money, because I want I might have some stronger ideas of what we're doing, uh, what we need to buy 
right before the battle day, uh, the, the main quest battle day. Right now, we need to, uh, I'm interested in this roster. We're going to get, like, no experience for this. But let's do it, and we'll save that maintaining and retraining, because we do want the rewards from that quest. But we'll save it for uh, when we have more battle points, I think. Which probably happens at C+, I would have to imagine. Because it hasn't happened yet. It's got to happen sometime that we get more, because you get three by the end of the game. But Professor level only goes as high as A+, plus, I think? Anyway, anyway, um, just make sure we sort it all by level. So Marianne and Happy go first, and then get our level 10s next. So it's like that. And then our level 11s are uh, Lysithia and myself. Oh, and Petra, right. Let's bring Petra up, because she has no lower experience. Just that, just that we're all in the clump here. And then, so the only one we're leaving behind is uh, Lysithia or myself. I'm one point away from a level here, so I kind of want to just bring my me for the excitement of that <laughs> um plus i could use some bow that said it's like scythia in desperate need of any of the skills we have her with here no she's probably even better at swords than i am aren't isn't she uh no almost uh let's see it has less experience than me so we'll bring her and i guess i can bring i can be someone's adjutant who has the least support with me in this bunch or well they're gonna be able to support with me easily anyway at some point so just bring uh Bring one of the side units, like Balthus with uh, uh, Hilda. Oh, he's already got the support building with uh, her. So bring Yuri or Constance with with uh, Happy, I guess. And Constance and her are already be so... No, sorry. Balthus or Yuri with Happy. And Balthus has a sword, so bring him. We're just... Balthus, and he's at a high level. Anyway. Balthus is just our, is our, our support buddy for the moment. All right, let's do this. Uh, we have just a whole bunch of normal enemies to, to fell here. Should give Happy and um, Marianne some easy takedowns here, as uh, most of the enemies here are lower than our level, so Marianne's normally not amazing strength and defense aren't going to hold her back too quite so much here. Priorities are starting with Marianne and Happy, so let's have everyone here just move out of the way. The you will get the victory. I know you will, Petra. God, it's been so some time since I heard that. It's so nice to have you back, Petra. I missed how amazing her stats are. <laughs> I think she's going to be like Leonie and Claude, where she's absolutely built for this class, so the fact that we're classing into her, her into it now... We're gonna we're gonna see some major results early on. I'm gonna move you into the woods. Me? Nope, happy, but you're not long behind. And what is your charisma, by the way, Petra? It's all right. Okay, cool. Come at me, I dare you. I had like so much ambrosia to eat before this. Ah, you couldn't hope to scratch a fly. Pretty sure that's the phrase. Yeah. You, how did you guys hit this stuff? I'm in the woods. That's a level for both of us, anyway. Let's get some more of that defense and res. Ooh. Well, that blood and sweat was worth it. There you go. He's probably at a level with swords and all that now that we could class him into uh, Myrmidon. I'm going to have Marianne and uh, Happy tag team this uh, for as long as I can here. We should they should we should we be able to dodge some of this, uh, so I, I shouldn't die so hard here. Especially if we uh, all target the same one here, and I'll just move Happy out of the way so that those two can have as much... Uh, keep as much of the experience for themselves as possible. A few of them are going to move into the woods here, which is going to be a little... I'll just skip through this, because they're, they're all just swinging away here. And missing miserably, I might add. Sure. I mean, I don't think they're going to hit you. And this will be a takedown for you. Might not be enough for a level because they're, as I said, fairly low level. But uh, we'll be getting there. They're mostly going after uh, Marianne here, which is uh, ideal because uh, she can't do the damage to them, which is why they're doing it. But it is ideal because uh, Happy was low on health. We're going to have to put a bit of a move on here because these ones are coming around anyway. Which is why we've got a moment here to have these two just be fighting by themselves. You could do some decent damage with a steel bow here, so I say go for that. And aside from those two, our uh, lower level people are Hilda, Ignaz, Leone. So let's move them up to engage these bunch. Sorry, Petra, I know I brought you along. This is your first mission with us, and I'm just leaving you in the side. But <laughs> it's because you're too freaking strong. Sorry. <laughs> we need to catch up to your level, bro. Oh, I'll skip this one, too. <laughs> God damn it, steel bow may be too heavy. Sorry, try that again. I uh, can't die now. Okay, good. Uh, so if you uh, were to pull... Yes, you. If you were to have her pull this first and then you follow up with the steel sword, you could take that down without either of you taking damage, so you'll probably be fine for uh, this next turn. Actually, you can even do that with this, can't you? Nope. Uh, so do that. Down. I guess it did. And you uh, both are now nearing level 10 here. You really want to get you the takedown on the boss. That's sort of the ideal thing here. And the only going to clean this up with no problem whatsoever. Leonie and Ignatz are going to have an easy time with this, I suspect, with their uh, pretty sturdy physical stats. We're all having pretty solid crit chances around now. Especially because these are lower level people than us, but... Oh my god, look at Hilda's speed. It lets her double with this. Yonk! 26 damage. Sorry, Amazing. Did I, hurt you? I think you did. And you got uh, Mastery for Mormon on there. Perfect. Okay. Just in time. I've got it now. I have complete faith in you. So if we uh, cooperate here uh, to steel bow this, then it can bring it down to 10. And with the steel Guys, sword, then you can do... Me. 10. Perfect. We can once again get a group uh, a tag team takedown here. So that five times fast. Tag team takedown, tag team takedown, tag team takedown, tag team takedown, tag team takedown. Should have stayed away. Let's all see if we can form up now that our bunch of friends there are almost at level 10. 
It's probably best that we all stick together. Marianne can even get the, the rest of that level, I bet, by using her Gambit, because it's only two experience, and then Happy can get a few more tick downs and we'll be good. She's doing great damage with that Steel Bow. And they're just going to advance here, so we don't need to watch that. Uh, let's see if the Soul Blade will come in handy for you. Oh god, they're all kind of bunching up here. Some Gambits would be in good order. I think we better start with your Assault Troop, because you're sort of safe to be here. Oh yeah, I can steal stuff from you. Well, it doesn't matter, because we're going to take you out anyway. God, they just they want to annihilate Marianne from all that way away. That's so mean. Why don't you just run up and heal yourself? That gives uh, Marianne a, a safe pocket here to heal. I guess just held on the Oni, basically, but... It's really the experience that I'm interested in here, so get that. Some strength and defense would be awesome again. Um, luck and res. Oh well. We learned that we're learning that luck is good for crits as well, so I, I won't mind that because I think crits will be useful as a mage, uh, a sword mage anyway. I mean, they'll, they'll be useful for all of us, but considering your decks will eventually be growing well, a bit of extra luck now doesn't hurt. Anyway, is my point. And now, Leone, if you would. Right, I know I didn't actually do anything to help there. Uh, Claude, why don't you just stand up here and? Uh, well, you're going to be faster than most of them, so fire with the steel bow twice here. Might mean that uh, Leone's... Oh, they dodged that with a 96. Wow. This is a little easier for her anyway. Since you didn't land the second one, this won't be a takedown. But all that means is that it'll be a takedown for someone else. In fact, this is actually a perfect uh, opportunity to get Happy some experience. With this. Sayonara, sucker. I mean, sorry for killing you is what I meant. Is that three trade secrets we've got? All right, so most of you can hit us, and you're not going to do much damage to the ones who can. I'll bring Raphael over here to support his best buddy, Iggy. Give him some extra strength, why don't you? I said, how confident are you in being able to take this one out by yourself? Very. I say go for it. Yeah. Chris Karen, 22 damage. You'll be there in no time. In fact, Petra, why don't you give her a hand, because you're both among our higher-leveled people. <laughs> Just wreck it with one single training bow shot, why don't you? No, Flame's been kidnapped. Right, we're, uh, we've are we got a, a, a pretty good hold on this now and a, good, a pretty strong defensive line. Okay, that's the one we want uh, Marianne or um, Happy getting the takedown on. Nice dodge, Ignatz. I wonder if the strength maybe gave him a bit of extra dodge if he wasn't ah, quite his way down by it. Nice job doing training sword damage on the Armored Knight's turn while they have their defensive blow, uh, Raphael. You're going to poison strike from that, but you're hardy enough with your amazing defense that, that the initial arrow shot didn't hurt you that much. Why would you ever shoot Claude with a bow? <laughs> Would you have a death wish? Right, you can even just uh, rat strike this one. Yonk! Nighty night. Nighty night. Uh, why don't you soul by that so that it's an easier takedown for someone else? Uh, like Raphael here, but not Raphael because he's good and he's doing well and experience and all. Marianne really would be the, the one, but I don't think she's going to get it with the steel bow. How much can she do in this axe wielder here? Seven, so if someone could bring that down to that point, that would be good. You could, but that risks a lot of damage on you. The only way we could really use this one uh, being gone, if you could, if that could be arranged. Nicely done. Let's see if they could even tank a hit, one hit, melee hit from one of these jokers, so that's good. Perhaps uh, you can take this out with uh, a steel sword rat strike, I suppose. You're not super fast, but you're fast you enough that you, uh, at this rate, with the, their level, they're probably not going to be able to W. He said completely lying. I can have someone else take your uh, training sword off, that's fine. And you're so freaking strong that you could get Marianne to take down easily here. Oh right, your personal skill is really good, isn't it? I, that was one, one thing I forgot. When the enemies are at half health, uh, you get crit plus 20. Right, and it doesn't even matter if it's whose turn it is. Excellent, I'm gonna keep you as uh, far away from harm's way as possible. Get that take down there, you look so goddamn cool in your Myrmidon outfit. Uh, don't be sorry, they had it coming. They were the worst thief I've ever met. No, I'm joking, that's horrible. I appreciate your dedication to apologizing to, for murder. Most pe firemen people have no such qualms. Uh, might as well I get you down here because you're going to be problems otherwise on this turn. Sorry, is mine. Well done. Uh, you two are pretty hardy because you've got good dodge and you're just uh, pretty tanky. And you got good dodge actually because it buffed your stats a whole bunch. His decks and speed are better than Ignatz's. Cooking effect. Why? Oh no, you have speed plus two on, I see. I thought you were getting cooking effect for both of them, right, okay. Uh, in fact, just to protect uh, uh, Raphael, it probably makes sense if you two both run up and do some gambits or some such. You don't have an amazing chance to hit with your gambit, but uh, you will when I put Ignatz up here. In fact, uh, you probably the real smart thing to do would be to gambit the one that he just gambited, just because otherwise you're not gonna really, you're probably not gonna hit anyone. Actually, why are you even gambiting anyone anyway? Just just hit them with a training sword. God, look at him with a training sword, it's ridiculous. Like, he finished this one off, but I think he just finished the one off who was already stunned. Probably just is a bit easier that way. His strength is 18. He grew in strength and speed and defense. Oh, Raphael's gonna be a legend here. So everyone says they wanna go after Ignatz. There are three spots with which they could try to hit him. Are all four of them going to hit him? I think that's pretty unlikely, but I uh, don't have much I can do to help there, I guess, except to try and take one of them out now. It's gonna be a tough sell. Uh, Ignatz might go down here, actually. 
But um, I'll give him as much help as I can here by shooting those two. I mean, there's a, there's a chance he'll dodge one of these, I suppose. Uh, oh, no, sorry, only two people can hit him. I, 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 I didn't realize how that was worked. Oh, it's really lucky that they sent the one with more health first, because if they had sent this one over to Rafa, uh, you know, he would have taken them out just then. Plenty more where that came from. Excellent. And now we've got the um, you here for a happy takedown. Because it's a takedown that will make me very happy. <laughs> but more importantly, happy can get it here uh, with... Uh, happy can get it, man. Sorry. <laughs> with uh, 13 damage here. So all we need to do is 6, which is very straightforward to do with something like that. In fact, I probably could even do that with the training bow because it's 6 less. Fewer, rather. It's fewer damage. Uh, so go for that now. You don't even need to. You can do it with a training sword. So I say that's more cost effective. Yonk! Oh, you look so cool with your shield and everything. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And that got a bit of experience for both of us as well. Dush, 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 dush. Magic dicks and speed. Good enough for me too. And you got your bully on there. So everyone's at least level 10 here. Marianne could use uh, some more takedowns here. Can you get this takedown with this? Uh, dang near, but they're gonna go after Happy anyway, so she'll get some experience for this, which she also needs, so that is fine. Do your worst! I'd like to see you try and take down Happy. Ah, uh, just kidding! No one can take down Happy. Nighty night. Nighty night. <laughs> and the MVP was, unsurprisingly, Happy. There you go, and our Renown went up for that, uh, and Renown will also go up for actually finishing the quest, and we'll have the secret roster, which... Uh, like I was saying before, I'm guessing it just unlocks the roster for people that aren't in your house. Which is still useful anyway, because I'll be able to check uh, gif what gifts they like and, and uh, what their stats are and such. So I can be like, do I want to recruit you yet or do I want to wait till your stats go up a bit? Dorothy's birthday! Happy birthday! Sorry for accusing you of Flane's murder. Uh, kidnapping. Let's go to tea. Crescent moon tea, why don't we? Isn't it nice taking a moment to relax? We haven't had a moment to relax all day. We've been doing nothing but fighting. We haven't hung around and eaten any meals or done any faculty training with anyone. So yes, it's nice to have a moment to relax. Like Nor have we had any tea parties like such, like so. Hey, no problem. Still those three stale cookies there. Two chocolate ones are all right, but one chocolate one and the other two are, they've been there for weeks. Let's talk about something else. Fashion reliable allies cats. Is she really into fat? I mean, I guess it's sort of part and parcel with being a, uh, an opera, uh, an opera, an opera, -er. an operist. <laughs> um, food in the dining hall, evaluating allies, Cheryl being sent. It's not really about evaluating people because she's been evaluated her whole life. Shareable. S ah! Was it food in the dining hall then? Maybe it was evaluating allies. Um, the last battle, a new gambit, the library's club. What? God. Uh, the, uh, the. Oh, you weren't in the last battle, of course. Why would that be? <laughs> Toppy and Dorothy don't have much to say to each other. That's just typical. Sorry for ruining your birthday. Uh, please enjoy it with someone else. I never noticed how many things she has on her right hand. Oh, she has them on her left, too. She has all kinds of little accessories. A lovely cup of tea. Thank you, <laughs> Please call me again. I know they say that every time, but just it's, it's, it's really like she was like, that was good. The, the tea was nice. The tea was awesome. And Violet's like, oh, well, I enjoyed our conversation. The tea was just lovely, man. It was, a, it, I had such good, it was good tea. <laughs> Your performance surpassed my expectations. I'm, it's good, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, we got so much round for this. And an owl feather. What a relief. You know, you may find this useful as a resource in your work as an instructor. You'll prevent it from going missing again, I trust. Uh, probably. Shoobity doo. Now that you have the secret roster, hints will be displayed for lost items. But you, oh. Your intuition can be tapped once during a tea party when you've chosen the wrong words. Oh, it has way more uses than I expected. It, oh, that's way cooler than it just being the roster for people who haven't recruited yet. Oh, awesome. It, it, it helps you in tea parties and lost items. So when you say I get extra hints. Oh, okay. It's got the it's got the, the flag for the, of, the, of um, the church on it. So it just tells me what house they're from, basically. Well, I already knew this was Flames anyway, but that's cool. Let's uh, replenish our battalions before I forget, which I am liable to. I think everyone's equipment is still in good order. Good enough order anyway for this next combat encounter. Oh, your training sword could now use it. It's a shame you can't buy uh, ore from this screen. You can only do it from the monastery, but too bad, so sad. We've got enough to uh, tie this over for the moment. So next episode will be a support theater because we have b a buttload of supports to be doing here. I mean, Lauren's has got a whole bunch up to be... Actually, there is a lot of Lauren's going on. Anyway, but, uh, we will, we'll have all kinds of supports to be doing here and as well as two for Happy, which is awesome. And then after that, we'll be, uh, we'll be going to tracking down Flame once and for all. Hang on, buddy. Just one more tea party and I'll, I'll be there. But that is all for now. So... Next video on the channel is going to be the long-awaited, finally here, Omori Meme Dub Part 5, after which will be some more Fireman 3 Houses, Verdant Wind Assassins only. So thank you so very much for coming around to this episode. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace!
<laughs> the wall jumper is something ridiculous. Okay. No! <laughs> Knowing that we are going to have the end effect at the end anyway, uh, it's a little easier, uh, 